President Bacané returns home after completing her eight-day trip to North America. Her diplomacy tour opened the door to even greater bilateral trade with Mexico and sought greater cooperation from the global community on curbing North Korea's nuclear ambitions in Washington. Song Jisun starts us off with a wrap-up of her trip. In her first overseas trip of the year, President Park Geun-hye focused on security and the economy, two themes she has emphasized since the beginning of the year. Ahead of the nuclear security summit in Washington, President Park sat down with the leaders of the United States, Japan and China to reaffirm their cooperation against provocations from North Korea. 저는 미일 두 정상과 함께 국제 사회가 북한의 도발을 결코 좌시하지 않을 것이며 만약 북한이 또 다시 도발, 도발을 감행한다면 북한은 더욱 강력한 제재와 고립에 직면할 수밖에 없을 것임을 다시 한번 경고합니다. At the summit, she said North Korea's accumulation of weapons-grade nuclear material, which goes against all of its international commitments, is a direct challenge to the global community. Over in Mexico City, President Bush shifted gears to business, laying a foundation for a resumption of long-stalled negotiations on a Korea-Mexico free trade agreement. This comes eight years after talks came to an abrupt stop following opposition from Mexico's automobile and steel sectors. Mexico는 우리의 중남미 지역 최대 교역국이지만 양국 간 교역 및 투자를 확대해 나갈 여지는 여전히 매우 크다고 봅니다. 이 실무 협의에서 양국이 윈윈할 수 있는 창의적 방안을 마련하는 등 좋은 결실을 거두기를 기대합니다. President Park arrived in Seoul on Wednesday, just a week before the general election, which could determine whether her policy initiatives will get a boost or face parliamentary challenges. Song Jisun, Arirang News.